What is going on guys? Today I have a very very interesting topic to discuss and that is rear sway bars. Well, I decided to go with the 034 Motorsports sway bar. You're wondering why I decided to go with the 034 Motorsports rear sway bar. The reason is simple, price and performance. By performance I mean what kind of benefits would the sway bar bring to my car. Um, I looked through a few I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, New Speed or New Speed, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I looked at their sway bar, it's a hollow sway bar and they're charging about $275. I looked at H&R, which was really expensive, $295 and that was a solid bar. And also I looked at another solid bar, which is the Super Pro and that one was $235 or $230, around there, it just depends uh, which, uh, which supplier you find. Uh, the 034 rear sway bar costs 265. It's made out of solid steel. Uh, it's one piece design, which is awesome. I was looking for a solid uh, solid sway bar, and the uh, diameter of the sway bar is 25.4, which is a random number. It's not a full 25 millimeters, but it's 25.4 millimeters. So according to the competition, the new speed, you can, there's two choices. You can go with the 25 millimeter or 27 millimeter uh, sway bar. The H&R, which was the, but also keep in mind the new speed, it's a hollow bar. So you wouldn't get the same stiffness as you're getting with the 034. Excuse me, the H&R was 26 millimeter. So that was one of the stiffest bars you could get so far or what I, what I was able to find. I'm sure I'm missing uh, some other uh, manufacturers and that one was just too expensive and it only had about a millimeter difference in diameter I'm not gonna go crazy and I'm not gonna get a I'm not gonna see a crazy difference of performance the the other, the other one the super pro sway bar was 24 millimeters so from the get-go you can see the 034 rear sway bar was a performer it was put right in the middle it was stiffer than anything but the H&R sway bar so I decided to go with it it went price it was cheaper by $30 it seemed like a great product it was a new product I gave it a shot so I contacted Laszlo at uh, 034 Motorsports he was great he was able to answer all my questions he was very helpful and eventually I decided to go with it I purchased it he shipped it right away same day I got it within a few days. The packaging was phenomenal, uh, as you can see from the previous video when I was uh, unwrapping the, the bar. The supporting hardware that comes with the bar when it comes to the brackets and the bushings and everything like that looked perfect. Let's talk about how, how it feels inside the car. So I installed the sway bar, I got in the car and I went for a drive. I wasn't sure what I would uh, expect from the sway bar. But from the get-go, you can see the car, it, the rear end feel more stable in a way. I know people say you can't feel the difference of the sway bar unless you're really driving the car to the extreme, but I kind of want to disagree with that. Um, I also have a UBQ chassis brace, which might also help to the stiffness of the car, but the rear feels very stiff. I could notice right away the car is really easy to corner, I mean, it feels different just going over bumps, going over an even pavement. The rear felt different. It felt stiffer, it felt better. It, it, it kind of gave you more confidence. Some of you might ask yourself, why just go with a rear sway bar when you don't really have any suspension mods than the UBQ chassis brace? Well, there's a few reasons. First, this car is front wheel drive. The way a rear sway bar works is by taking some of the load from the front tires. And what that means is kind of Kind of the reason why when you increase the rear sway bar, your car tends to oversteer is because it puts more load on the rear tires and it takes load of the front tires, but also that gives more traction to the front tires. So the traction in the rear is improved marginally, but where you see the significant improvements would be the, uh, the front tires. You get great traction coming out of a corner due to increasing the rear sway bar size. Some people might ask the question, do I have or have I thought about changing the front sway bar as well? But for now, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the 034 Motorsports bar. 
and I'm very happy with the performance it's providing. Why did I decide to go with the 034 Motorsport Solid Sway Bar? First of all, the diameter, it's 25.4 millimeters thick, which beats the new, the new speed uh, hollow bar by a lot. To get a 25 uh, millimeter thickness out of a hollow bar, you would probably need 30 plus millimeter thickness of the bar itself. And that's really hard to do with a hollow sway bar. Um, and another problem with the hollow sway bars is they usually it doesn't happen but they might break under like extreme conditions and i definitely wanted to avoid that from happening i believe the choice that i went with really provided improvement to the car here's a real uh world test that i did with my car it was in a parking lot uh here's the first video that you'll see it's with my stock sway bar and what i got out of it is you can see in the video itself i'm going to show it right now The body roll of the car seems to be higher. It's not as tight as I would like it to be. And also, when I push it to the max, or when I actually put more throttle to it, the car feels like it wants to understeer. The front tires are kind of tending towards understeer, which is normal with the stock uh, setup. That is normal. Uh, here in the second video, you'll see that there's less body roll. The car doesn't feel like it wants to oversteer. It's very easy to manipulate the car with the steering wheel. And the back, the back just seems stiffer. It seems like where you point the car, that's where it goes, which I'm very happy with this product. I wanna have full disclosure. You can see from the previous video that I broke my uh, OEM end links which I wasn't very happy about it because I had to order new ones and I had to spend more money. But uh, I went with the Super Pro and Lynx, which they got a lot of good reviews. So I said, why not? I, I like the design. I know the design is not gonna make any extra noise. So I decided to go with them. Uh, in combination with the 034 Motorsports Sway Bar and the Super Pro and Lynx, the bag just feels phenomenal. I'm not sure how much of that is due to the sway bar or the end links, but I believe that combination together works very well. Again, I'm very happy what uh, last one his team did with this product. Phenomenal product, works very well. The hardware, everything provided with the bar was perfect. The bar fit like a glove where it's supposed to go. I had no problems with it whatsoever. The performance of it is great. I mean, I, I can't I can explain how nice the car feels right now. In the future, I think I might upgrade my front sway bar if I learn more and of how involving the process is. And I hear that 034 is developing a front sway bar as, as well. They're in the testing right now. So I might give them a chance again. I'm very glad that I took the chance. Again, I want to say thank you to Laszlo and his team. You guys did a, a great job. You guys designed a phenomenal product that performs. Uh, I've dealt with 034 Motorsports a few times and I have nothing but good things to say about them. Check them out. I'll put their website and their email address in the description below. Uh, give them a try. Uh, look to see what products they have. You might find something you like and you're gonna get a good quality product. If I had to go through this process again, I would definitely go the same route. Uh, I would give this product a 10. Reason is, installation was very simple. They have detailed instructions on their website. So I'll give installation a 10 because of the simplicity. Uh, 
the quality of the product, I'll give a 10. It's a great product. Performance, a 10. I have nothing but good experience with this product. Driving on it for about a week, it's out very positive. Let's not forget about shipping. It was packaged very well. Uh, it shipped very quickly. It arrived at my doorstep within a few days. I was very happy with it. So overall, again, I would give this product a 10. Also, I wanna thank you guys for watching, for liking the videos and subscribing. The channel is growing slowly, but st at a steady pace. I really appreciate all the suggestions, the critique. I take everything into account. I appreciate you guys uh, commenting below what you like or what you dislike the videos. Um, again, please like this video. It means a lot to me. And I really appreciate you guys watching and giving me your time. I will see you later.